Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Civil Engineering by Stravan. On behalf of Diwali, we are providing huge discounts on all civil engineering courses. This offer will be valid from 28th of this month to 31st of this month, only 4 days. The complete details about the courses and prices you can see in the screen. So for the 4-in-1 pack which is of 3, uh, triple nine rupees and for two in one pack which is of two one double nine rupees okay this offers will be available in civil engineering by stravan application the download our application from the google play store or direct link is available in the below description of this video you can check the download link is also available in the community tab so if you having any queries about the courses you can once pin me to my whatsapp number which is also available in the description of this video this particular offer i am providing for the limited amount of the people or oh, 10 people per the course so after this the course price will be increases so try to increase your skills on civil engineering for your brighter future in this video lecture, I will explain you complete analysis and designing of 5-story square building by using ETAP software. So for this building structural model, I was considered the specifications here like this for the building. So initially I will explain you the specifications. So basic parameter considered for 5-story building of G plus 4R. Grade of the concrete is M25 and grade of the steel is M FE500 grade steel. And beam size is 460 cross 230 mm and column size is 460 cross 460. Slab thickness is 125 mm. In the same process, bottom story height is 4 meter. I am considering here. And the remaining story height is 3 meter. Live load is 5 kN per meter square. Dead load is 2 kN per meter square for the floor. Density of the concrete is 25 kN per meter cube. Seismic zone is 5. Site type is 2. Impedance factor is 1.5. Response reduction factor is 5. Damping ratio is 5 percentage. Structure class is C. Basic wind speed is 55. Risk coefficient factor 1.08, terrain is 1.14, topography is 1.36 and the de design code is uh, IS, uh, wind design code is 875, RCC is 456, steel is 800 and earthquake is 1893. So these are the parameters which is considered for the project. For the particular project just I am considering a uh, 20 by 20 square shape building which is consisting of a fine number of the base in each direction, horizontal direction as well as the vertical direction which is of square shape for the 5 story building. So for that just I am selecting my ETAP software here. So here in this we will select the use built in settings with metric SI Indian IS800456 click on OK. So here I am entering number of uh, grid lines will be consisting of 5 numbers in horizontal x direction y direction with 4 meter 4 meter spacing. After this we have to enter the number of the stories just I am assuming here as 5 story. So bottom story height uh, as 4 meter I am assuming for this project click on grid only option click on ok option. Now after this we have to consider the material properties related to grade of the concrete as well as the grade of the steel. For that go to your uh, define option material properties add a new material. This time selecting according to Indian standard concrete code of M25 grade concrete click on add option ok. Again I am adding the rebar which is related to uh, 500 grade steel here click on add option click on ok option. After this we will define the beam size column size, go to define option for that, section properties, frame sections, initially we will delete all this property, delete multiples option, select this property, delete option, again I am selecting, click on delete option, after this we will add new property, click on add property, rectangle, so here we have to give the beam which is having the dimensions is approximately 460 is the depth of the beam. Again, I am considering 300 is the width of the beam. So click on the reinforcement, change property from column to beam with this value. Again, I am selecting top as well as the bottom as 40-40 cover. Click on OK. Again, OK. Again, I am selecting ISLB 600, delete property. Add a new property. We are selecting the concrete which is related to the column. Material property is M25 grade concrete provision with the depth as 460 mm. Again, I am selecting this is also 460 mm. Click on modify show. Select the column according to HYSD 500 500. This time selecting the number of the bars are 4 4. So longitudinal bar, just I am selecting 16 mm. And this is 
confinement as 8 mm click on okay okay option now after this we will define a slab section define section property slab section delete this plank one modify this time selecting here as 125 mm and the material will be of m25 grade with 125 thickness click on okay okay option now we will assign the properties select all stories initially firstly we will select this second option we will see the properties here beams or not just assign to the property here like this again i am selecting i section which is related to the column change the property name from beam to column since it is a square column on section no need to uh, change the orientation for this column so select the quick draw floors option change deck one option to slab 125 from this particular section so select the option here like this so that it will assign the slab section for the building now after this we have to delete the slab section at the base go to select option for that select go to select option for that select stories select the base click on select close go to edit delete option so that it will delete the property at the ground level after this we have to define the load case which is related to seismic loading intensity wind loading intensity go to define option for that so click on the load patterns option so give the load which is related to earthquake load in x direction select the pattern related to seismic as per indian standard code we will add again i am adding earthquake load in y direction condition system now i am adding wind load in x direction select here as wind which is related to is uh, 875 2015 again i am adding wind load in y direction condition system click on add now we will edit the parameter so click on the modify option select the direction will be of x and uh, importance factor as per the assumption we are assumed that 1.5 i will show you that property so importance factor is 1.5 response reduction is 5 so response reduction is 5 here and the seismic zone factor is uh, zone 5 with a medium soil condition system click on okay again we will select the y direction so we will change that x to y direction and we will change this uh, importance factor as 1.5 click on okay after this we will select the wind load modify here so wind speed which is a 55 according to the considerations 55 is the wind speed as per the considerations and class structure is c for this building structural model so category just i am selecting terrain 4 and uh, importance factor we have to give so here the importance factor for this building is uh, approximately 1 just i am assuming here risk coefficient factor k1 we have to assume as 1.08 1.08 here 1.08 again i am selecting next factor related to terrain coefficient k to 1.14 1.14 again we have to select the next factor topographic coefficient factor so topographic coefficient factor just i am uh, changing the topographic coefficient factor is not available here so we will change this to 0.86 it is zero angle and 180 degrees angle for this property click on okay option again we will click on okay now we will select the wind load y modify change that wind load to 55 terrain category will be of 4 1.08 is this factor and 1. Point, uh, 1.36 sorry 1.36 is this particular factor click on okay option click on okay after this we have to apply the load cases initially i am selecting all the building structural model go to assign option joint loads forces at existing load we have to add the load which is related to 1 1 1 click on apply option after this we will apply the load which is related to the external wall internal wall parapet wall loading conditions for the structure for that go to select select properties frame section select the beam here go to assign option frame line load distributed at to existing loading condition which is related to 24.3 which is the combination of external internal parapet wall load click on apply again we will select the okay option from this particular section now we will apply the load which is related to the floor load for the dead load go to select option select property slab section select slab 150 close option assign shell load uniform condition 
give the load as 2 kN per meter square intensity add to existing in gravity click on apply after this we have to assign the live load condition system for that just i am selecting previous section changing dead loading condition to the live load with the factor as 5 click on apply so that it will apply the live loading condition system for the slab section after this we will add the load combination sections so go to click on the load uh, definition option define option so click on the load combinations add default design combination according to beam slab section only click on ok click on ok now we have to assign the supports at the base go to select uh, select by stories base so I am selecting here click on select option close option assign joint restraints fixer supports click on apply then we have to click on the ok option for applying the fixed support condition system now we have to add the diaphragm for that select all the building go to assign joint diaphragm select d1 click on apply so that it will apply the diaphragm for the building structural model now we will click on ok option now we will analyze the structure go to analyze check models initially we will check this three line checks click on ok after this we will do the uh, analyzing option with the help of the considerations of the all the loads go to analyze set load cases to run option run now option so that it will do the analysis process before that we have to save this model as 5 5 story option so now we can see it is doing the analysis process for the building structural model after some time it will show you the complete analysis results so you can see here it was done with complete analysis process mm -hmm. it is showing the values of deflection here like this you can display the shear force diagram select this option select the load case depends upon your consideration select a shear to two option click on apply so that it will display the shear force diagram for the building structural model so you can see here the it is having high amount of the shear force so you can see here it is having high amount of the shear force here moment 33 click on apply so that it will display the bending moment diagram after the analysis process completed we need to design the structure firstly we will add the strip condition system for the slab for that just i am unlocking my model go to edit option strip conditions add strip condition system for the fifth story click on apply in x direction with a in the same process just i am selecting the direction which is related to y direction condition system with the strip of b click on apply so that it will do the strip condition system y direction in the same process in the same procedure we had to add the strip condition system for the remaining floors like fourth floor third floor fifth floor etc after applying all the strip condition systems we have to click on ok option now we will do the analysis process again once again with the considerations of the strips go to click on the run analysis so we will wait for some time for analysis process of the structure with the considerations of the strip conditions now we can see here it was done with complete analysis process now we will design the beams go to design option concrete frame click on view revised preferences we will check the values here click on ok again we will go to the design option concrete frames click on start designing check so that it will design the complete uh, frame sections according to IS 456 2000 code provision standard system so it is designing the columns now it was completely done with the beams designing section at the different floors according to IS 456 2000 code provision standard system for this particular building now we will design the uh, slab section go to design option concrete slab view revised preferences here so select the IS code click on ok again we will go to the design concrete slab click on start designing check select the number of the stories click on ok so that it will start designing of the floors related to fifth slab fourth slab third slab second slab first slab according to is 456 2000 code provision standard system slab strip design results here like this so it will be consisting of complete design results here like this now we will save this model control s option so after this we have to exit this uh, etap software so click on exit option now we will do the detailing in csi detailing version software so for that initially we need to open the csi detailing version software click on csi detailing 18 software here
go to file option here click on new detailing firstly we will select the edb file this time selecting file initially the model will be open in etab software then after that it will be open in csi detailing version software So click on this OK option. Now we will select the parameters here. Select the detailing units according to metric SI system. Length millimeter, millimeter, kilo newton is the load. And we will select the rebar length will be meter and area square meter, kilogram. You can select OK option. Select the preferences. We have to select the IS 456-2000. Click on OK. Select the rebar rules option. So here I am considering minimum spacing for the particular section is 120 and maximum spacing is 300 for the slabs again I am selecting this as 120 again I am selecting this as 120 again in the same process I am selecting here as 120 this is 300 this is 300 this is 300 in the same process column section just I am selecting here as 120 this is 300 click on OK option. Again, we will directly click on OK option so that the complete detailing of the building will be open here. So, I will show you the complete detailing after that. So, this is the fifth uh, slab designing results floor framing plan, rebar plan, top rebar plan, bottom rebar plan, rebar plan all. So, it will be consisting of bottom rebar plan, section A, section B, reinforcement profile, reinforcement profile, bill of materials. Directly click on the rebar KG option so that it will do the complete uh, rebar cage view for this particular structural model now you can see this is the complete rebar cage view for this building structural model and click on the beam detailing select this concrete beam framing plan this is the layout which is related to the framing plan schedule and tables it will be consisting of complete schedules quantities elevation you can select any one of the floor just i am selecting this particular floor here click on the rebar cage view option so that it will load the complete reinforcement diagram results which is related to this uh, beam here in the same process we will select the column designing results so click on this place mark floor framing plan this is this is the schedules and drawing column scheduling bill of material rebar quantity so elevation just i'm selecting any one of the column so this is the elevation section a b c section directly click on the rebar cage view option so that it will load the complete diagram which is related to rebar cage view for this particular project of uh, square column and building by using etap software if you have any questions about this software please text me to my whatsapp so that i will give you the answer for that questions thank you for watching this video see you in the next one